Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we are going to do a full comparison between the iPhone XS Max versus the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now, the Galaxy S9 Plus was released in March 2018, while the iPhone XS Max in September 2018. These are two of the most popular smartphones in the world. As such, people quickly ask questions. Questions such as, is the iPhone Max better than the Galaxy S9 Plus? Or is the Galaxy S9 Plus better than the iPhone Max? And of course, the most popular request of all, just tell me which one is better. And of course, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in this video by doing a full side-by-side -side comparison of every aspect of these smartphones. So let's dive in and discover the winner. Throughout this video, I will refer to the iPhone XS Max as the Max for the sake of ease. So the first thing I want to take a look at is the build and design. So both the iPhone Max and the S9 Plus have a similar build quality. Front and back, you will find glass on both smartphones with a solid metal band around the edges. This makes for a high-end build, therefore both smartphones feel like a million dollars when you hold them in your hands. When you move on to the design is where things differ. They both have massive frontal displays and they both look gorgeous. S9 Plus has a large and tall display that dominates the screen leaving tiny bezels on the top and the bottom, while the iPhone Max strives to fill the entire front with a screen almost succeeding except for that notch on the front that has been a topic of controversy. Now, some people embrace the notch, while others simply don't like it. You will observe that the bezels on the side of the S9 Plus are actually thinner and it sports the signature dual curved edge design. All in all, I must say that the design is a subjective choice but in my opinion, the S9 Plus still seems to pull ahead. It seems more clean in overall presentation from the front. Now, this slight lead could have been possibly avoided if the iPhone Max had somehow eliminated that notch on the top, which does serve a major function known as the Face ID, which we will talk about later. Now, both smartphones come with water resistance capability with the exact same water resistance rating of IP68. Rest assured, both phones can easily handle a rainy day or an accidental drop into a puddle of water. Both smartphones also offer high-quality stereo speakers that produce a loud, deep, and rich sound, perfect for watching movies and videos. S9 Plus takes a lead in audio options by offering a 3.5mm headphone jack, while the iPhone Max does not. So to summarize, S9 Plus certainly has a slight lead in this category. Uh, it does have a 3.5mm headphone jack and a cleaner look overall. Although the build is equally well done on both smartphones, giving the end user a premium in-hand feel. Now let's move on to the processor, memory, and storage. The iPhone Max sports a powerful A12 Bionic processor with 4GB of RAM and can be acquired with 64GB of storage for the base model with available 256GB or 512GB storage model options. The starting price for the Max is $1,100. The Galaxy S9 Plus also sports a powerful processor, a Snapdragon 845 CPU, or an Exynos 9810 variant in 9 US markets with 6GB of RAM on the base 64GB model. S9 Plus will also be available in a 128GB or 256GB storage option. Starting price for the S9 Plus comes in at a lower price point of $740. In the storage race, S9 Plus pulls ahead. Due to its ability to expand your storage using a microSD expansion slot, using a microSD card, you can add an additional 512 gigabytes of extra storage on the S9 Plus. And if you prefer to have internal storage, you can easily upgrade to the 256 gigabyte version for a relatively lower price of $860 as opposed to iPhone Max's $1,100 for 64GB only storage option. Now if you move on to the benchmarks, it is immediately clear that the iPhone Max has quite a bit of raw horsepower that kind of blows expectations. Galaxy S9 Plus is not a slow phone by any means, but iPhone's A12 Bionic chip has accomplished some incredible power output which does come in handy for heavy duty apps and highly graphic intensive games that run with zero stutter. Although the iPhone Max has incredible processing power, the S9 Plus counters that with better storage solutions at a lower price point. This category is an overall draw. Let's talk about the dimensions. 
So the iPhone Max measures 157.5 millimeters in height, 77.4 millimeters wide, and 7.7 .7 millimeters thick. It weighs 208 grams. The Galaxy S9 Plus measures 158.1 millimeters in height, 78.3 millimeters wide, and 8.5 millimeters thick. It weighs 189 grams. Both smartphones have similar dimensions overall, but in this day and age, dimensions and weight don't seem to have much of an influence on buying decisions. However, the slightly more narrow frame of the S9 Plus makes it easier to hold in one hand. Now let's move on to something more important, the actual display. Let's talk about the display. The iPhone Max has a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1242 by 2688 with 458 pixels per inches. The S9 Plus has a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2960 with 521 pixels per inches. Both smartphones support HDR. Both of these smartphones have fantastic displays that look stunning from every angle. They're not dull, they're vibrant. The S9 Plus is sharp and clear and is slightly more saturated. The iPhone Max is sharp and clear as well with less saturation but better color accuracy. Overall, I cannot recommend one over the other as they both look very clean and crispy. Only thing I will say is that it feels more immersive to watch movies in full screen on the S9 Plus as opposed to the iPhone Max because the notch seems to bite into the video from the left side. On the flip side, iPhone Max offers a slightly larger display size which means more screen real estate. I will consider this category a draw. Top notch, large and high quality displays either way so unless you simply do not prefer the notch, this category shouldn't influence your buying decision. Let's move on and talk about the software, a very important category. Let's start with the basics. The Galaxy S9 Plus runs on the latest version of Android while the iPhone Max runs on the latest version of iOS. When comparing iOS and Android, it's hard not to overlook two big differences. Number one is customization. Android system is a much more open-ended environment and allows for extensive customization via widgets, themes, and home screen tweaking. You can tweak an Android smartphone to fit your personal sense of style. iOS, on the other hand, when it comes to home screens, is just a static grid of app icons with very basic customization capabilities, such as being able to change your wallpaper. On the other hand, iOS does offer more polished apps and a greater gaming experience. Just about every game on the iPhone Max, including graphically demanding games, will run at maximum performance with smooth and lag-free gameplay, a feat Galaxy S9 Plus won't be able to match. Additionally, the Apple App Store does yield a larger number of quality apps as opposed to the Google Play Store. So if you care about apps and games and how well they perform, this is certainly something to pay very close attention to. Beyond those two differences, the S9 Plus is certainly more productive and feature-rich in the software department. It allows for split-screen multitasking, which means you can run two windows side-by-side -side at the same time, and the larger display on the S9 Plus certainly enhances the whole multitasking experience. The S9 Plus also has the edge functionality. You can swipe inwards from the edges of the display to bring up the edge panels. These edge panels can give you access to app shortcuts, weather widgets, tools such as a compass or a digital ruler, a calculator, and much more. On top of that, it is fully customizable. You can actually add or remove a bunch of panels based on your needs. As a counterattack, the iPhone Max does have 3D Touch which is a pressure-sensitive screen that allows you to access quick actions and other gestures by pressing down on the screen with a certain amount of pressure. So it is clear from everything I mentioned that the Galaxy S9 Plus is more customizable, feature-rich, and productive overall. However, where Apple wins is the app ecosystem, which is no joke. Like I said, the Apple App Store will offer superb gaming experience and provide more polished and quality apps in comparison to the Google Play Store. For app-driven people, this might be important enough to stick with Apple. Now let's move on and talk about the camera. So let's look at the specs. Both smartphones have a dual camera system on the rear. iPhone Max has a 12 megapixel primary wide angle camera with an aperture of f1.7. The secondary camera is a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with an aperture of f2.4. The S9 Plus also has a primary 12 megapixel camera that comes with a dual aperture of f1.5 and f2.4. The secondary camera is similar to the iPhone Max. It's a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with an aperture of f2.4. 
Both of the primary cameras are quite capable. They take stunning daytime shots and produce a clear and sharp image. And even when it comes to nighttime, they both take amazing nighttime shots. Now this is all with the primary camera. The secondary telephoto camera on both smartphones is designed especially for two times optical zoom and being able to take nice portray photos that will keep your face in sharp focus while blurring the background to create the bokeh effect. When we move on to the video recording, the iPhone 10 Max and the S9 Plus are capable of some amazing things. They can record at 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second and can also record in 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second. However, the S9 Plus takes a lead in slow motion recording. It can now record at 960 frames per second uh, slow motion speeds as opposed to the iPhone 10 Max's 240 frames per second. This super slow motion allows you to capture some really incredible moments if you are into this kind of videography. Now the front cameras on both smartphones take great selfies and are perfect for video conferencing. In this category, the S9 Plus takes a lead due to its super slow motion recording capability. However, for an average consumer that mostly takes photos and straight videos, both phones offer a very attractive package that will not disappoint and will offer sharp and clear photos in varying lighting conditions. So let's move on to the battery. In the battery department, both phones yield similar results with iPhone XS Max showing a slight lead. Overall, you get a full day of battery life with medium to heavy use on both smartphones. But iPhone Max did offer an additional 30 minutes to one hour of extra juice after the S9 Plus was already at 0%. Both the iPhone Max and the S9 Plus offer wireless charging using the same standard, which is fantastic. S9 Plus has fast wired charging out of the box with the included charging adapter. However, iPhone Max will require you to purchase the fast charging compatible wall adapter if you wish to utilize the fast charging option. But both phones do have fast wire charging option. This category is an overall draw. While the iPhone Max offers slightly longer battery life, the S9 Plus has the fast wire charger included with your purchase and both phones have wireless charging. Let's move on to the biometrics and security options. In this category, the S9 Plus leads in overall tech. It has three ways to unlock your smartphone, a fingerprint sensor, an iris scanner, and a basic facial recognition tool. The iPhone Max only has one way to unlock your smartphone, the Face ID. Now the Face ID on the iPhone Max is superior to the facial recognition tool found on the S9 Plus. Even Samsung doesn't recommend using the facial tool on the S9 Plus as a reliable security measure. So we could potentially discard that option on the S9 Plus. So what we have is an iPhone Max with a state-of-the-art Face ID system versus the S9 Plus with a state-of-the-art iris recognition tool plus the proven fingerprint sensor. As I said, the S9 Plus does have more options on the table, so the win goes to the S9 Plus in this category. Now let's move on and talk about the pricing and then we will tie it all in a conclusion. The S9 Plus has an official price of $740 for the 64GB model and the iPhone Max starts at $1,100 for the 64GB model. So there's a massive $360 price difference between the Max and the S9 Plus. And finally, it's time for us to define the winner in this battle. All right, so it is clear that both smartphones are technological marvels. As a tech package, they offer a lot of value. The S9 Plus retains the headphone jack, in my opinion, has a cleaner design and gives you more biometric security options. It also has the Samsung DeX functionality that can convert the S9 Plus into an actual PC using an accessory. On the flip side, iPhone Max only has one advantage that is superior to the S9 Plus. It has a powerful processor. Otherwise, they both have wireless charging, same IP68 grade water resistance, and as for the display, they both offer massive and top-notch display quality. In any case, looking at all the metrics and seeing how the S9 Plus has more technological advantages over the iPhone Max, it is easy to conclude that the S9 Plus is the better smartphone. But not only that, in addition to being a better smartphone overall, it is also $360 cheaper than the iPhone Max, which simply seals the deal. It is very important to state that technologically the S9 Plus is not very far ahead of the iPhone Max, since the iPhone Max is also ripe with the latest technologies. But the S9 Plus does have extra features and the cost savings is real. So if someone just simply asks me the question, which one is better, 
I am compelled to say that the S9 Plus based on the facts. But if someone asks me which one is better for me, I might end up asking you a few questions to see which one might fit your needs better, such as your preference on customization versus a solid app ecosystem. And that brings us to the end of this video. So let me know down below which phone you prefer and why and whether or not do you agree with my conclusion. All right, so make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, and I know you do, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.